Hello, hello, you guys. I hope you're all doing fine. Welcome, welcome here to my channel, Reshmi underscore beauty around the world. Today we are going to Cartier. I will take you with me. I'm going mainly because my clue earring, I'm inserting a picture here, broke. And um, this is actually after I bought so many items from Cartier the first time, something I'm going into the store with something negative. So I'm really excited to see how the customer service is, how they will treat me, how the repair will be, whether they will make me pay or not because the earring broke. In a way you can see here the post broke off and that should not be, I mean, I'm wearing earrings for most part of my life it never ever happened to me so i'm excited to see what they say what they do if they take the repair how long the repair will take and so on so like i said i'll take you guys with me with you uh, with me today sorry and i just came on here to show you quickly what i'm wearing what i'm taking it's gloomy today but it's warm i'm taking my pochette matisse and it's so full because I have my uh, bulky Chanel sunglasses in here. So that's why it's bulky, but I'm taking this back today and it closes fine. I just have to arrange it a little bit. And I'm wearing a black dress, simple black dress with a little bit of lace detailing here and the jewelry. The Hello, hello. I am here today. I wanted to make a quick jewelry of the day video because I'm heading now to Cartier and I'm wearing my small clash necklace stacked with the VCA hammer rose gold vintage necklace. I have my everyday Cartier stack on here, which is the clash small love diamond bracelet, classic love and en clou. And here I have the carnelian. VCA in vintage size, five motif, and the hammered rose gold one. And my ear stack is a clue. My hammered rose gold sweet earrings, the love earring, a diamond huggy, and a little gold stud. And on my fingers, I wear what I wear every day clue, Tiffany tea ring. Uh, my engagement ring and my love ring so that is how i'm going that's my jewelry of the day for today leave me a comment what you think and i see you in the next one hello hello you guys i finally arrived at the mall it was a nice drive and because i still had time for my cartier appointment i went to neiman marcus and i was in shock the christmas decoration is out i thought i'm in the wrong movie because i was thinking where did the halloween decoration go why is christmas santa already out they are all out with everything christmas trees Santa, chocolates, decoration, and I moved on on my way to the Cartier appointment passing Dior here. They also had beautiful window decoration on already, but thank God not Christmassy one. And here we are browsing at Van Cleef at the window. And now we are going passing Saint Laurent. And then we will be passing Louis Vuitton very soon. And then we will be at Cartier. And the main reason, as mentioned before, are the broken earrings. So we will see what they say. And I will definitely make update videos on that. And um, I also want to look at watches. The new brushed gold um, love selection for the bracelets and Panthea. So here we are looking at the small Panther watch, actually the mini Panther watch in yellow gold. Very, very beautiful. And here is the small size with diamonds. I really didn't want to look at the one with the diamonds, but, the, but that was the only one they had here. 
And here is a comparison between mini panthea and small panthea on my wrist next to Alhambra. I personally really, really like the mini panthea because it looks to me like a jewelry piece. And since I wear so many bracelets, um, that's the, a good size to go along. This is the medium size two-toned panthea bracelet in steel and yellow gold. Yes, this is yellow gold. It looks a little rose gold. And here the SA is putting the brushed gold love bracelets on me. I choose the white gold and the yellow gold. He could not give me any information how they will be holding up because they don't have any um, reviews on that yet. But they were beautiful, but I think I still prefer the classic one, though the brushed gold in comparison with the sparkly, shiny love sign looks really, really beautiful. But um, yeah, I prefer the classic gold one because i suspect these will scratch up even worse and the scratches will be shiny and hence more prominent on the brushed gold ones but i don't know here i'm trying on the small steel panthea watch next to the brush gold white gold um, love bracelet and you can see the brush gold looks in my eyes a little bit dull compared to the shiny steel here i'm trying on a small love bracelet with diamonds in white gold and this is the medium size panthea watch with diamonds in steel and here again the love bracelet and here the medium size steel watch with diamonds i was trying to see how they look together if I add a small love bracelet on one wrist and the steel watch on the other, because that would still be less cost intensive than the gold panther watch. Here is the panther bracelet, the small one and the full diamond pavé one. I'm not really sure why my SA showed this one to me, but it's gorgeous. Look at the emerald eyes of the panther and the onyx and the diamonds gorgeous gorgeous this bracelet cost sixty thousand dollars the um, small one with no diamonds cost eight thousand dollars and um, yeah ideas. it was oh. really nice to hold it in my hands and to look at it i didn't ask for it but i go with the flow i would say in real life this panthea bracelet is even more mesmerizing i couldn't take my eyes off it it was really gorgeous and this is the small size panthea bracelet as shown before now without the pavé one so we can focus a little bit better this is also beautiful of was the shiny gold and the detailed head of the panthea gorgeous and this is the two-headed panthea bracelet also very beautiful i think that was around twelve thousand dollars emerald eyes onyx nose beautiful as well i really enjoyed trying these two these three panthea bracelets on like really really beautiful detailed work reminding me on indian jewelry i have a lot of indian jewelry with elephant heads tiger heads and lion heads and here i'm trying on um, the ikru next to my stack I really hope you enjoyed this little shopping vlog and I hope to see you in the next one and I'll keep you updated regarding the earrings. <laughs>